On display in the Almond Vintage Power booth is probably the nicest original John Deere Model D in existence. This tractor belongs to the family of the late Dennis Powers, who purchased it in 1973. The Model D was kept stored inside for 25 years. In 1994, the tractor was sent to Ken and Dan Peterman, who repaired the tractor and tried to preserve it in as much original condition as possible. Brian Holst and John Deere collector David Wolf met at the Gathering of the Green to discuss this original survivor. So Dave, I know you're kind of a D aficionado. Um, we have coming up on our spring auction is this John Deere Model D tractor. Um, the story behind it right now is kind of that it's never really been sold for farm use. Uh, customer ordered it back in the day, uh, didn't come in in time, so he bought a couple of the tractors and told the dealer he didn't want it anymore. Dealer sat on it for a decade or two. It was never sold, and eventually a collector bought it from the dealership, uh, put it in the storage for a couple more decades, and then Dennis Powers bought it and put it in his collection. Uh, he's the one who made it in the state that it is today. Um, some of the unique features on this tractor, and, and you know this far more than I do, what to look for when you look for an original tractor. So tell me what a, a collector would look for for originality. Okay, on this D, it is a nice late D. So it's 48, um, was made the same configuration all the way through 1953 as this. They started to style the ones in 1939 with very little changes through the styled era. If you look at this one on the tires, it's got 30 inch tires and it says 1430. So this is an original set of tires that was made before they changed the numbers on the tiring system. So if there would be later tires, they would say 16.9, 16.930. So these are original tires that I believe would have come on this tractor. You know, they may have been on and off or something, but very, very nice condition with these tires. Tractor itself, see the little dimples? That was factory, it's very nice shape. You'll note that the water separator is on it yet. Most of the D's that went in the field use, this was plugged or removed because you could not run antifreeze through the system. It was a system that took um, water out of your radiator system, put it through the carburetor to keep um, spark from in, for things to get too hot when you burn kerosene. So this here item here is not found too much on tractors that have been through the farming. Uh, very nice starter ring on the starter. Everything's nice. The original wiring on everything, the braided feature. So some of this stuff you just can't duplicate today. We'll go around the front here a little bit. Nice original muffler on it, which I do believe was the original muffler. The decal here, look at the straightness of the grills. A little bitty scuff marks here and there. Nothing that you'd have seen in a cow yard from Wisconsin or anything coming from anything that did a lot of work. So very, very straight original. Everything here, not greasy, looking not hardly, no wear on nothing. Generator, original bracket, original voltage regulator. Look at the decals here. And this here is just perfectly straight. Little bitty decals here showing. Original mag, this is a I do believe a Splittendorf Magneto on it, so that's nice. So everything is there. Again here, the wiring harness, the lights, everything are just nice. Tires are nice. Um, we're going to go around the back here, and Brian and I noticed um, the steering wheel, no wear. The clutch pedal, or clutch lever, extremely tight. Look at this. That's the way they were come from the factory. Just nowhere, nowhere around the quadrant. Nowhere in the seat. Look at, look at this. You know, usually they're wobbled. Break and everything. You note the serial tag is real nice and legible. They've got this here. There, no PTO. So it's got the plate on. I personally like a D without a PTO. You have platform room for your feet. PTO was an option, but it took up all this room and it wasn't operator comfortable. The gauges are original white gauges. You look real close at them. Uh, the starter button on these is a pull start button and that it be lights work starter button. I'm not going to pull it. I don't want to try to start it, but it's a, one of these buttons that you can't buy nowadays. 
So when buying stuff to fix a deed, this battery box cover and all these little parts are very spendy and hard to find. Not everybody making them. Brian, you got any more? Well, so basically what you're telling me is what you're seeing as far as this tractor being a, an unused, almost brand new tractor, the story matches the components. Correct. Okay. So a little bit of detective work, you can kind of assume that the story is true. Um, of course, nobody's around living yet that can authenticate this history yes, all yes, the way forward. It's all being handed down voice to voice, voice person to, voice. to person. And um, if we, we looked underneath, you know, I don't see any grease down there. You know, usually down in this area, we'll see axle grease or something. Mm -hmm. The brake band here from the parking brake looks like brand new. Um, this here little box here will tell me that there's never has had a PTO in it. So I, I do believe the story. I think it's original. I don't think it's ever been used or if it was, it was very little. Looks like we got a pretty nice piece coming up here on auction. Um, whoever is the winning bidder is going to have a pretty, pretty nice, authentic piece of John Deere history. Exactly. Wonderful. And yeah, I, I think it's uh, just what everybody says it is. And like I said, just look at these tires back from before they changed the numbers. And, you know, I don't even see a crack in a tire for as old, which is unreal. Even the front tires, you know, there's no little stress cracks on anything. No, nope. you can see the seam down the middle in some places yet. Yep. So the, the steel valve cover caps don't realize, but they haven't been around ever. So if you ever restored one and you're looking for steel caps, they're all plastic. So I do believe it's in original condition. Well, thank you very much for your opinion and going around it with us. It's great always having another perspective. Yep. So we do appreciate your time, Dave. So somebody looking for a very beautiful late D. John Deere, here's a pretty one. This tractor sells on the 2022 Spring Consignment Auction. For more information, visit almondvintagepower.com.